Hey guys, and uh, this video I'm going to show you guys how to create a Google Docs uh, form or a Google Drive form that is embeddable on your web page or you can email it to somebody to fill out like a survey or a questionnaire uh, or just as a basic contact form. But we're also going to add a little code in there that's going to email us the results of the form. Uh, it's going to basically email us uh, when someone fills out the form. So let's jump right to it. This is going to be how to create a form and uh, get the, e the email results, the results mailed straight to us. Uh, so first things first, let me head on to Google Drive. And let me quickly sign in. And once I'm in Google Drive, I can now create a form. So let me click on the Create button. Uh, they made this really pretty. I've been using this for years and they made it very nice. I'm going to click on form. So create form. And now it's time to make some questions. Uh, so let me start the form from scratch. I'm going to call it uh, YouTube YouTube Tutorial Test Form. This form is for my tutorial video. And now let me add some fields in there. So let's say this is a contact form. Uh, I'm going to make a text field called uh, your name. And I'm going to make it required. And now I'm going to go ahead and add a, um, a new field. I'll put in, let's say, uh, your email. And I'll make this required as well. And let me add another field in there, paragraph text, let's say, uh, description description and I'm going to put that in here also and let's see what else we want to add in here checkboxes uh, let's make a checkbox called uh, check this if you like me and if you like my tutorial how about that and make it required and done okay so now I have a little uh, survey going on here uh, and I'm gonna save it so this form is actually live right now um, if I go and I uh, I click on here. Let me close this already because I just created it. So here's my form. If I click on uh, this form, and this is where the results will appear, if I click on form and click on go to live form, this is what it looks like. So if I put my name in here, right, and I put my uh, my email, and I'm going to put in blah in the description, and I'm going to check it and click submit. What's going to happen is, is I'm going to get a, uh, a a thank you page. Basically, your response has been recorded, and when I look in here now, you'll see that um, my results have been recorded onto an Excel-like spreadsheet uh, that collects the results for the form. Now, let's say I want to get a notification in my email. I want to see the results. I don't want to have to come to this page every time to see when someone fills out the form. I want to get the results in an email. So, how do I go about getting that? Well, there's a little piece of code. Uh, that I had uh, written and I'm going to share it with you guys. I'm going to actually put it in the description to this video um, and I put it right here on Notepad. A very small piece of code. It's called send form by email. Okay, And you'll see that there's two variables here. There's an email variable which is what your, where your email is going to go, where the email where you want the results to go. And then there is a subject variable, what the subject is going to be. Uh, and this is the whole piece of code. Now, where do we enter this code? Um, when we go back to our form result page, this little Excel uh, spreadsheet looking uh, page, you'll see here that under tools, we have a uh, script uh, gallery, a script manager, and script editor. So I'm going to go into script editor real quick. And in my script editor, you'll see that um, I can actually write a function. And I'm going to go and I'm going to paste this function in there. Uh, and as you see, I already put in for email my email address, right? I'm not going to change that. But I'll make this subject. I'll change the subject. So whenever someone fills out the form, I'm going to get an email with this subject. I'll make it YouTube Video Tutorial. Let me capitalize the T. And that's it. Now I can click the little Save button. And I can save it as uh, Send Results, right? You have to save this little code. YouTube uh, notifies you. Um, it doesn't notify you the way that this does it. It's, it's a little different um, because it's, it's a really, really good way um, to use this because you can actually customize this form so no one even knows you're using the Google, the Google um, 
the Google uh, Drive to make a form. Um, you can actually use this for for your website or anything and, and totally mask it and add your own styles and colors to your form and make it fit um, flush with your design. So now that I have this here, um, I have to now that I have the code in the function here, now I have to put in what trigger am I going to use? Um, what will trigger this code? And what I want this code to be triggered by is when someone presses this button, the submit button on the form. So I'm going to go to um, I'm going to go to resources, the resources tab, and you're going to see here that there is a, a little screen, a little menu option here called all your triggers, and I'm going to click on that. And after you save this function what it's going to do um, is it's going to basically create a uh, it's going to make the function available in your trigger selection list right so I'm going to click on no trigger setup click here to add one now and you'll see that send form by mail is the name of my function and it's asking me um, on what event do I want to use it and I want to use it on the form and it also asks me where do I want to uh, basically execute this trigger um, do I want to execute it when the form is opened, when it's edited, or when it's submitted? And I want to do it on submission. Um, what happens is, is that when the results come into Google, into that spreadsheet, uh, and the results are submitted, it's going to execute this function, send form by email, which is the little code that we have put in here. And I'm going to click on Save now, and it's going to ask me to authorize my email uh, with uh, Google Drive, because I, it's asking for permission, in other words. Um, and I'm going to authorize it because I'm going to allow my email, my Gmail email, to email me the results of the form uh, based on the results that were entered into the spreadsheet. So now when I save this, I have the code here um, and I have everything ready to go. And now I can exit this, right? I can go here and I can X this out. I don't need it anymore. Um, and now I can go back to the form and let's say go to live form, right? So this is the form that is currently right off the Google site. I can actually view the source to this form um, if I click on view page source. And I can copy this entire uh, code and I can put it on my website or I can embed it in an email or I could do multiple things. I can text it to people uh, and have them click on it to fill it out um, on a mobile device. Uh, very cool stuff. So. Now that I have this, I have uh, my form and I have this code in there, let me go in here and first let me log into my email account. Um, let me log into uh, one of my email accounts. Well, let me log into this email account. And now that I logged into my email account, let me fill out um, this form. Oh, give me a second. Let me fill out this form. So I'm going to put in here uh, the name and I'm gonna put in here an email and I'm gonna write this is a test submission right and I'm gonna check it and submit it so I got the thank you page which you can change in the form where the thank you page goes um, and now I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna check my email and you'll see my previous test went through but I'm going to continuously check my email to see I'm waiting for the new one and I just got it you see it says here YouTube uh, video tutorial and it's basically telling me here, let me click on it, it's telling me here, check this if you like my tutorial, which was checked. Um, then it tells here the description, the email, my name, and the time and date in which this form was filled out. So this form emailed me the result, and if I look at my iPhone right now, I'm pretty sure I'm going to see that there is going to be an email in there with the subject. Oh, hold on, let me refresh it. Yep, and there it is. I have a uh, subject. Um, YouTube video tutorial sent from my Gmail account and inside of it I have here the same exact information what the person filled out so now I don't even have to go here to see this I got it in my email results um, and you, I can play with this form forever I mean there's so much you can do and I usually create these and I embed them into websites or like I said I create server surveys and, and questionnaires uh, and that's the way to do it. So just to quickly go over what I did here is I clicked on create and I created a new form um, and after I designed the form uh, once I finished designing this form I was able to uh, go inside the actual form spreadsheet uh, where I view the results. I clicked on uh, tools I went to the script editor and I basically pasted in a script that I wrote here uh, which is a function called send form by mail and you'll see here there's two variables which you will have to change again this code is going to be put in the description of the video 
um, you'll be able to put in the email address where you want the form results to be sent to by this Gmail account um, and you'll be able to put in the subject for this form and that's it and once you save it you're going to click on your res resources go to the all the triggers of the page and you'll be able to say I want to trigger this send form by email function uh, on form submit and once you save it you'll see that whenever someone fills out your form you're going to receive the results in your mail uh, very cool thing. I know a lot of people are wondering how to do this, so that's why I made this video. Um, and this is a really, really good function. Um, you know, Google coding, it's, it's really nice. There's all kinds of neat things you can do with this. This is really simplistic, but very useful because, um, you know, God knows you can use these forms to create hundreds. You can do hundreds of things with these forms. And Google made it so easy to create a form. Um, and now I'm making it easy for you to receive the results of your form in your email account. So... I'm going to put in the code right now in the YouTube description. Uh, you can check it there, copy paste it into your um, Google Code Editor, and uh, you know, have fun form making. Uh, you'll find hundreds of uses for forms, and this is a really cool and uh, a good thing to know. Uh, thank you for watching my video, my channel, and subscribing if you subscribed. If not, please do subscribe. Uh, and thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate it. Bye.